Hi, welcome to module 3 in video lecture 3. This one covers the notation of a derivative. Now this one will be mercifully short um, given the topic, um, but it's important because you're going to be reading a lot of these derivatives and it helps to know what the symbols you're going to see are actually. So it turns out there are many, many, many different definitions, sorry, notations associated with derivatives. We'll talk about a few. Um, so calculus was sort of simultaneously invented, well, more or less simultaneously, um, by Newton and Leibniz, um, and there's notations associated with it. So Newton was primarily interested in, in applying to physics and was, was interested primarily in understanding the rate of change with time. So his notation looks something like this. So if you're trying to understand how some function of time changes, the derivative of that function, the rate of change, he put a dot over the f. So if y equals f of t, then um, y dot would be the rate of change. Now, most things in political science, science never ever use this. It's only used for time, um, so you're not going to see that very much. But if you do see it, the dot means derivative sometimes. Far more common is the notation that um, Leibniz used, which is... Here, this thing, read d by dx, is an operator. It operates on the function to give this thing, which is read df dx. It's the derivative of f with respect to x. Now, as you're getting started in calculus, the most important thing to remember is this thing here is not a fraction. It looks like a fraction. You might want to play around with like a fraction. It is not a fraction. If you move the fraction around, you will mess up. Okay. The dx in the bottom is not some numer some denominator. The whole thing means the derivative of x of f with respect to x. That is all it means. If you treat it like a fraction, you'll make tons of mistakes. So treat this as a discrete thing df dx, or some, so df dx is a derivative of f with respect to x, not df over dx. Okay. That's one common derivative. That's come one common notation. There are other notation as well. Um, Lagrange had some notation. When there can't be any confusion about a derivative, instead of writing this whole thing out, you can write f prime. Here the prime represents a derivative. So this is notation with respect to um, a single derivative of a function. If there is confusion, that's less useful. If there's no confusion for one variable, there will be confusion for more than one variable, um, and we'll get to that. But that works just fine for one variable, and it's probably the most common notation you'll see for one variable. Sometimes you might also see other oh, notation like this. Um, this means the same thing as this. This means the derivative. If there's, a, if there's confusion, you can stick a little x there. The important thing to recognize is that these mean, all mean the exact same thing. These are all ways of writing the derivative. Um, typically, what's actually said will be um, f prime or df dx. They all mean take f and take the derivative of x. Sorry, with respect to x. Right, again, take f and take the derivative with respect to x. That's all this stuff means. It might look kind of weird at first, um, but you get used to it over time. In practice, you will see, sorry, you will see this one a lot, and you will see this one a lot, and this one not so much. So really it's these two you should know, and you get used to using them pretty quickly. And again, there's nothing special about um, f of x. If y equals f of x, then I can write dy dx, which you'll often see. Um, I tend to prefer the f of x because it's clear what the function is a function of. So in these video courses, you'll primarily see f of x, but in the book, we go back and forth um, because oftentimes you will see y, particularly in statistical applications because um, y is a dependent variable. But that's really it. There's a bunch of notation. You'll get used to it over time. Um, and the rest of this video course, we'll learn how to calculate a derivative from first principles. In the next 
50 lecture, we'll learn how to calculate, we'll learn some basic rules of differentiation and do a lot of practice with taking derivatives. But there's the notation for you. Okay. Thank you very much, um, and I'll see you in module four.